Hello and welcome to the second part of the mini-series about how to use Life Control 2. And last time I explained how you can use all the different buttons on the launch layout and this time I want to show you the play layout. So first we have to check that we have a track armed. Okay. And then we go to play. And this is very low. So the first thing is you can scroll through the octaves. And then we can just Okay, and um, by default, the root node is set to C and the scale to major, which is also the case in any door and on push, for example. And um, you can choose a different root key out of the 12 available. And for scales, you can choose between chromatic, major, natural minor, harmonic minor, pentatonic major or pentatonic minor, and drum rack layout. Let's stick with C major right now. And then we have the offset button. Here now we have octaves and seconds, which means that on the X scale we have octaves. You can see C1, C2, C3 and so on and seconds, which means it's an in-key mode as well, like on Ableton Push. So all the nodes that actually are within C major, in this case, are only shown. So it's every node. And then the next setting is fifth and thirds, so fifth on the X scale, thirds on Y. So if we wanted to play C major chord, we'd have to do this shape. This is now still too low. Let's go higher up. And then we can go to fifth and seconds. So we've got this shape. And then fourth and thirds. Then they would actually be next to each other. To low again. A little bit further up. Doesn't really sound great though with that sound. And then if you want to have the same layout as the in key layout on push, then choose fourth and seconds because then you can do the triangles for the triad. Okay, so let's keep that. And then mixer is currently chosen here. So you see you have a volume fader, then the panning here is slightly set to the left. Um, mute, unmute track, solo track, arm the track, choose a being again, and the monitoring settings. And then on the top you have the send knob for the currently chosen return track. So right now A reverb is chosen, we could just set it to B as well. Dial all the way up. And then to the left we have MIDI. 
So we have four mini channels that we could choose. We have a pitch band. And modulation wheel, that's probably not going to do anything right now. Nothing's mapped here. And we can set the velocity, which is by default set to 100. And then last but not least, we have the effects. That we can set. And in this case, we have a simpler in an instrument rack. So we can either access we can access the macros, but in this case they're actually not mapped. So that's really all there is to the play layout. Let's close that again, go to the mixer. And then we can just choose the drum rack, for example. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be about the sequencer.